Here's a problem that one of our viewers ran into, and I understand it's not going to be a problem that most of us are going to be dealing with. And that will be the walk line. The walk line is usually going to be 12 inches from the inside of the stairway. This would be a curved or a winder stairway. And since this particular stairway has steps that are exactly the same size on the inside, on the walk line, and on the outside, then we're not going to have any problems with the building codes. So again, that would be for a stairway like this, a curved stairway with the same sized treads on each step. However, that's probably not going to be the case on a stairway like this. I'm not about to suggest that you can't design a stairway that will have the same walk line throughout the inside of a stairway like this. However, you're not going to have it on the other side, suggesting that this is a stairway that is probably not going to be approved by most building departments where you're not allowed to have more than three eighths of an inch variation in the walk line. And hopefully this makes sense. However, if it doesn't, because you're not wrapping your mind around the fact that people aren't going to walk along this side of the stairway all the time, they're going to be walking up this side also. Right here, we have a big problem between this step and this step. And I really don't see any way around it to create a stairway that would work with this particular layout.